Hi, I'm Melisande Rouget of Diagnostic Imaging Europe. I'm at the Gleamers booth, RSNA 2023, with Gleamer CEO Christian Lalouche. Hi. Hi, Melisande. So, um, radiology AI has been around for quite some time now, and I was wondering if you notice any different requests or queries from your customers. Yes, completely. Uh, so the first few years of AI was around uh, the beginning of adoption. Uh, now it's down. Uh, we have a pretty high conversion rate and even retention rates. It means that when radiologists are using this kind of software, they, they tend not to go back uh, the whole way. Uh, and now the queries from customers are uh, that AI meets the budget constraints that they have. So that's typically what, um, that's the thesis of the recent Series B we did. Uh, we raised uh, 27 million euros um, in June uh, to build a large catalog of proprietary AI applications yes. and to be able to bundle our price and to meet these budget constraints yes. while uh, fostering AI adoption. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess it's a trend in the radiology AI in general. You see that in many different companies, right? Yes, totally. Uh, I would say that today most of the companies have uh, between one and two products in portfolio. Uh, not so many companies um, did take this, uh, let's say, industrial way of uh, delivering new AI applications on the market. Uh, we did. Um, and, uh, and so now our main focus is how we can organize the company internally, how we can build an AI factory internally so that we can... Uh, launch on the market uh, a lot of new AI application with a very high level of performances. So about that, what are you presenting new at the show this year? Uh, good question. So um, two new AI applications, Chessview and Bone Metrics. Uh, they are not new, but they will be soon FDA cleared. So we are presenting that to the US market. And uh, we are also taking this occasion to present uh, four new AI application that will uh, be part on our AI co-pilots um, around mammography and uh, CD scan for oncology. And uh, that will be released on the market uh, in Europe for the beginning in Q2 2024. Okay, so we'll see that at ECR. Yes, I hope. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Christian, for your time.